right, let me tell y'all this story. I'm going to tell y'all this story, bro. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this story that happened. What Today was a weird day. Now, it was already weird because I woke up super late this morning. So I was late for work. Things didn't get weird until I went to church's chicken. Yeah, leave it to go to the chicken shack to run into something weird. So, I was driving the church's chicken. I heard a strange noise coming from the side, like the left front side of my car. I was thinking that something might be wrong with my car. And the last thing you want is to be caught up in an accident because something's wrong with your car. Um, so I looked at the left wheel, I got out of the car and there was a chunk of ice there. I was assuming it was maybe like the wheel or something rubbing in against the ice or something, which was making that weird scraping noise. So I kicked that chunk of ice off the side of my car. So you don't have a church's chicken in uh, the Philippines. Well, let me tell you, I'm, I mean, like, chicken is chicken. I don't know if you're a major fan of chicken, but I mean, I don't feel like you're missing a whole lot, but their chicken is good, especially if you've got something that's even more up there. I mean, but Churchy's chicken is really, it's, it's pretty good. So, yeah, I don't think every place has it, right? So there was a strange, there was a voice I heard when I was looking at the side of my car, uh, trying to check to see what was wrong before I go inside. And then a, a little old lady was flagging me down and I had no idea who that person is. Little white, like little old white lady, right? I don't know how old she is, but she's definitely up there N probably not in her 80s or 70s maybe her 60s or something you hear voices in your head really um like the randy orton song <laughs> and so so she was asking me for something she was talking super fast i didn't understand what she was uh telling me i'm like uh i don't understand what you're saying i need you to slow down and back up <laughs> i don't know who she is i don't know who she is and she's getting all close and saying all this stuff so i'm like back up I'm like i don't know what's going on here and you're talking too fast so it seemed like i don't know if this was the truth or not but she tells me that her daughter's pregnant she locked her um she i guess like like locked her keys in the house so she couldn't get to the car and she needed to go see her daughter since she you know she wanted to go see her because she was pregnant she was she was just having uh i guess she was in labor or whatnot so she was asking for money and me i'm standing here like oh boy here we go and so she, you you know how it, it's always weird when someone just conveniently flags you down out of nowhere but i guess when people is trying to ask for help they're looking for the closest person that they can find and i, I guess like i was the lucky person to be flagged down since i was the closest so I don't I don't know who I didn't know I don't know who this lady is and I'm like well you know I I don't feel like going through all of it dealing with all of that today so I just said um I just said well unfortunately you know I have I need to get going because I almost thought she was trying to get me to drive her to her daughters or something or drive her to the hospital or something because like I'm not doing that. I, I, I got other priorities that I got to take care of. And then what would it look like me 
um driving like literally letting a stranger ride in my car with me i don't know about that one so apparently it was about money so i said well hmm uh you know i just didn't feel like having a back and forth conversation about it and part of me is like you know what maybe i should use this as an opportunity even though i know i'm probably getting ripped off yeah i mean i don't know if she's telling the truth she could be lying and just using that to get some dope money or something um so i was like okay uh but you're gonna have to like i'll do it but you're going to have to i'll give you 30 bucks how's that sound that's all right and she was very grateful for it and so i was just keeping an eye on her as i was walking now mind you it's snow everywhere <clears throat> and we was going um over the churches right now she crazy she think i'm crazy if i'm going to do what she say she said <laughs> she said you know uh there's a lot of snow right there you know you can get your you can catch a cold and all of that if you won't get in the snow like that and then on top of that she was like hey um you just made a new friend <laughs> i'm like what i was like no i'm good <laughs> and so i was like well i don't if you want to walk on the street you can do that i'm not walking on the street Last thing I want to see is a car slipping and sliding and then almost run me over. You can walk on the street if you want to, but I'm walking in the snow. I'm not getting hit by a car. <laughs> I'm not doing that. And so I'm walking. We talking. Now I get to the edge and of course, you know how you got to get over that big hill and one false move and you can fall on your face. And she, and she was like, literally like, kind of like, it was almost as if she was going to try to catch me or something when I jumped over. <laughs> My dumb butt literally jumped the hill. I'm like, let me make sure I land right. I, I, I got to look good in front of the peoples. So I landed good. I was like, that was a dumb idea because it was snow everywhere. So we go in. I get the chicken. I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do now? Like, you know, I, I was like, you know what? Let's go over to the gas station and I'll get your money. Now, she, um, she was like, don't even get you started with chicken. Dang, OG must be a chicken fan. <laughs> and so I was like, all right. She was like, let me get your number. Let me get your number. I got to pay you back. I got to pay you back. I was like, you know what? Maybe she's for real. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. You know, like I just said, don't even worry about calling me or nothing like that. It's just $30. Go see your daughter, right? Now, I felt like I was doing the right thing. <clears throat> I felt like I was doing the right thing. But what made it so peculiar, but here's what made it so peculiar. The moment that we was ha I was having this discussion, <laughs> well, I'm gonna put some of that money that I got to good use and open up that Minecraft serve. <laughs> so she was like, so the dude, that that was overhearing the conversation i guess he was laughing i was hoping like heck he wasn't laughing because like he knows this person and he's seen this before and he's laughing like she got you bro she got you <laughs> i'm hoping that's why he wasn't laughing because i called myself doing something nice right so Part of me was like, I wanted to stop her and tell him, like, look, before you take this money, just know that if you're lying, 
that's going to be on your conscience. But I didn't feel like going through all of that. So, I, I, you know, I just wanted to make sure. Part of me is like, you know how sometimes you always want to do a good deed for the day? Even if you know you feel like you're getting conned? And I guess it was kind of like one of those feelings. I don't know. And I was just about to ask that question, Deathlock. Would you help a stranger? And I... I what my answer to that would be it depends on the situation and who that person is because if that was a younger person that was doing that i wouldn't have done it because if it was a younger person they're probably up to no good especially if they're like like a young buck and they look like they're some kind of thug or something i wouldn't have done it but i mean for me i kind of looked at her disposition right I look she's an she's an old a much older person she's a small lady very small lady um for all we know you know how some some older people can be senile and it may be and it may be the truth i guess that's how i was feeling at the time uh but would i do something like that again more than likely i would not because i did my good deed for the month Yeah, that's the question, Dev. Like, you don't really know. People can tell you any story. People can tell you any story that they come up with. For all you know, she could have been planning this story the entire time. You know what I mean? Maybe she may have came across a new strat or a new routine. You know? And um, I guess the lesson is... Um, don't trust anybody. Like that, I, I would say that would be the lesson. To, I mean, like, it's good to be kind. It's great to be kind. But don't just trust anybody to the point where you may put yourself in a awkward situation, especially if it's a dangerous situation. And that's another thing. <clears throat> but then think about this what if you was in that same position that that other person was in because i mean in reality in reality the world is cruel you know and sometimes people are telling the truth and especially considering how bad the situation is right now it, see exactly winter hawk exactly and it was good on you to do that <clears throat> it was really good on you to do that and i feel like that's what my what i was thinking about and sometimes it's always nice to do a good deed for the day and honestly all right if somebody was so adamant usually people wouldn't be desperate to try to pay you back that's another thing that kind of struck me about that situation. They was trying to get my number, my name, didn't even know me. Um, and she was so adamant about paying me back. I'm like, don't worry about it. Go see your daughter. I mean, if she's pregnant, she's in labor and you just needed money to get get there because you locked your keys in the house or whatever your situation is it's like just go see her don't worry about that i mean if fate if fate has it we'll meet again but if not just just um just just take this situation and and believe that there are good people out there you know <clears throat> And that that was my situation today. It was a very weird for me. Because I was literally kind of like fighting whether I should do it or not. But I feel like the situation for me was I looked at this person. And she's not the typical person that would do that. She's an older lady. She looked like she would be the type of 
person of that age where they may actually forget that they left their keys in the house and just locked their keys behind them or something. And the fact that she was so adamant about paying me back, I was like, well, just don't worry about it. Just go see your daughter. And me, I was busy anyway. I already wasted 15 extra minutes of my time running across the street with her just to get her this money, right? So, I mean, and I don't like crossing streets, <laughs> especially the dang snow. You know how scared I was? <laughs> it was a busy street. I literally jaywalk. I feel like jaywalking is safer than crossing the track, you know, the, the main street. It's safer than crossing the crosswalk, in my opinion, because you know what's coming. I, I don't know why people make a big deal about jaywalking. I find it much safer. Because you'll wait until nothing's crossing the road. You know, you know, you'll wait before crossing the road. You're not going to jump in front of a bunch of moving cars unless you want to get hit. <clears throat> You have no clue what jaywalking is. So basically, jaywalking is when you uh, cross the street. You cross the street, and you're not crossing the street using the crosswalk. You know how you have the crosswalk in front of the traffic, you know, next to the traffic lights? You use the crosswalk to cross the street. Where other people would not use the crosswalk and they would just literally walk out in the middle of the street somewhere, anywhere. It could be like maybe in the middle of the street or something. Or like you cross the street from a neighborhood from one side to the other and there isn't a crosswalk, a crosswalk there. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying, Deflot. <clears throat> That's exactly is what I'm saying. That's what hoodlums do. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a hoodlum winter. <laughs> Unless you're saying that crossing this crosswalk is what hoodlums do. I can see that too. Um, but, but really vengeful hoodlum. <laughs> but you know what? Let that be the question of today. The question of today would be, would you help a stranger? Like that, that is the question of the day. And I like what Deflock said. It kind of depends. It's always going to depend. And what Winter Hulk did was smart. I'm not going to lie. Winter Hulk offered food or a drink, right? He didn't just straight up give him money, but he offered food in a drink right and so imagine if someone was asking for money and you say hey i'll give you i'll get you some food uh get you something to eat and if they're really grateful for that then for the most part it's more genuine but if they turn if they go the other way well they was probably going to um use that for drug money or something you would help if you don't have to lose and if the person doesn't ask for much, that's true too. If you got nothing to lose. And I was, I just told myself, you know, it's, it's just 30 bucks. And, and see if a homeless person turned down food, I think they was after something other than food. It might've been drug money or something. You know, sometimes at work, if customers have a few cents left uh, to pay, you go ahead and pay for the rest. And that's good on you, man. Oh, gee, that's good on you. My thing about the world that we live in right now, there's too much negativity and you don't see much of that. And when somebody shows kindness, I just feel like... um that can turn into something wonderful it's, imagine if imagine if that lady <clears throat> didn't trust black people imagine that right think about it i'm a i'm like a tall black guy right and i'm not a small dude and this is a little white lady 
and she's walking up to me. Why, why would you walk up to somebody like that? You know, and you're a little, and you know, you could easily get overpowered and stuff like that. Imagine if she wasn't too fond of black people, but I was the clo I was the closest one available at the time and you don't have time to waste. You're going to seek out that person, right? You're going to see you're going to see if you could get some help real quick. And it seemed rather urgent. In my case, I just wasn't sure where to go with this. But the fact that she pulled out her phone and was really trying to get me to, uh, you know, like put my name and number on there so she can pay me back. I mean, that said a lot. And I don't necessarily think that's a lie because every other person that I interacted with, they never did that. They never did that. Never. So it was like, this could be the truth. And sometimes a little kindness goes a long way. Um, and who knows? A dino foresaw the future. And who knows all the spit that just happened today. What you guys did, I don't know. Maybe I was blessed because of what I did. I mean, because I do believe in, um, believe in the Lord. And I feel that blessing, blessings can come out of nowhere or come out of nowhere when you least expect it. There's probably a chance that I probably would have got that money regardless, but I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting all of this. I wasn't expecting all of this that just happened today. So beggars are common in the Philippines, but most of them are drugged up. See, now in that situation, you probably wouldn't even give them anything because all you're going to be doing is helping them get high again, right? And one thing about the thing about drugs is that's only a temporary escape. You know what I mean? All of that is only temporary. None of that's permanent.